girls with their nails done now. This real poor terrible crime. This one. transformation video. I know that I had a mean girls moment and I wrote this backwards because I was looking in the mirror and I wasn't thinking so it should say rotten. Definitely follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and TikTok. Everything is a bunny and fawn right here. Just get a Halloween snack and sit back and just chill and watch this cool tutorial transformation. Where I'm gonna do three pumps of alabaster and then I'm going to lighten it up with like two pumps of the LA Girl Pro Pigment Foundation Lightener. Okay, now I'm gonna take a microfiber beauty sponge like this and I'm gonna pick up the white eyeshadow right here, like this, and stamp it on the under eyes to set the under eyes and keep them from creasing. I want it to be like white powders on a white base. I'm also setting the sides of the nose. Okay, I'm just gonna like pull my lips forward because I hate the way that I look with my lips <laughs> covered with makeup. Okay, so I'm gonna contour with the powder that I use to set my face all over on a usual day because when we're white, this is a contour. And definitely cut the jawline. I mean, Marco isn't really wearing a highlight in the movie, I don't think, but I think it will look really glamorous for this costume. So I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Loose Highlighting Powder from the Gothographic Collection. Honestly, if you have a like any kind of highlight that's like really like white and silvery, that's what you would want with like a super white <laughs> base. And I'm gonna just like contour the high parts of the face. So forehead. I'm actually gonna get a brush like this. There we go. And then we use a well, brush like this and like highlight right here on the cheekbones. So I'm gonna take my Benefit Cabrow pomade in the shade four. You wanna go for like a really dark brow here because the contrast between her skin and her brow is pretty stark. I'm brushing it up with a spoolie. Now in the movie, her brows aren't like perfect. So I'm gonna try to like be kind of like messy and haphazard with it. I'm just kind of like going in diagonal strokes in the direction that the hair should grow. And then I'm trying to follow like the natural arch of my brow. Now my brows have been like, you know, plucked to an oblivion. So who knows where they really are. <laughs> and then to really emphasize like the bushiness, I'm taking the Maybelline Brow Sculpt in the shade Deep Brown. This is what the spoolie looks like. Anytime I wanna like emphasize like individual brow hairs with like a brow mascara, I like to take it in my other hand and go diagonal at the brows so that it like stands up straight. I really like the way that this brow is looking, so I'm gonna do it right on the other side. So now we can jump into eyeshadow. Now she has like this like really grungy, gritty, like ashy toned, cool toned, smoky eye going on. So I'm gonna go into my Milani Gilded Coast palette. I like this pop because it has a lot of like the gray, grungy, kind of like deep tones that I really want. Let's start with a really nice like ashy gray. I'm taking on a fluffy, blending brush that's domed. So I'm packing this all over the lid. At different parts of the movie, she is wearing like different kinds of looks. I think I wanna go with like the movie poster because I think that look is like the most fit for a Halloween extravaganza. I mean, I know I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna be just filming TikToks with this costume, but hopefully, you know, if you're watching this when the quarantine's over, you can like use this tutorial for like a Comic Con or maybe a Halloween costume or something like that. I feel like Halloween's gonna be on TikTok this year. <laughs> so if you want to use this for like a TikTok or something, or you want to duet me on TikTok, please do. Like that would make me so happy. Okay, I'm just like buffing that same color just lightly into the crease. Again, it's all about just like giving your face a little bit more 
dimension, that Margot Robbie dimension. <laughs> Okay, I'm switching out my brush and going into I'm going to the Bretman Rock X Wet n Wild crease brush. I didn't like this because it like sticks right into like the crease of my eye. I'm gonna take Cruise in, which is a deeper gray, slightly deeper, and I'm working this like carefully into the outer V of the eye. So I'm just going to the crease and then I'm kind of like lifting a little bit up as if I was like creating a winged liner. Okay, next I'm using a like sort of flat brush like this and I'm going to stamp that darker gray shade like a liner on the bottom lash line. And you can make this as grungy or as like not grungy as you want. I'm taking like a fluffy brush and just like taking the lightest gray shade and like making the eyes like bigger and bigger. Okay, next I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Eyeliner in black, and I'm going to tight line my upper and lower water line with this. Smudge it on the upper lash line. So I hated my eyeliner, <laughs> so I put concealer over it, and now I look like this. So I'm gonna redo my eyeliner. Okay, so I'm gonna take a flat eyeliner brush, and I'm going to dip it in my Tati Beauty black eyeshadow. And I'm gonna do that instead of eyeliner. So I'm gonna do a smudged liner. And I'm already loving it. Guys, I'm so embarrassed how long this is taking me. It's just a smoky eye. It's a smoky eye, a liner that's like blown out, and I don't know why it's taking me so long. I think it's just cause like, it has been like so long since I've done makeup, but I'm like, this is just, this should have taken me like four seconds. It took me so long to get to this moment. But I'm here, and I'm kind of liking the way that this is looking. I really want to like deepen up my like cheekbones a little bit. So I'm gonna go into actually an eyeshadow for this. And I'm gonna use a gray eyeshadow to contour. See, that looks so much better than what I had. So I'm gonna contour with this gray. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead with the mascara and I'm going to do really big natural lashes today. I'm gonna go into my L'Oreal Voluminous Paradise Primer and go with the top and bottom lashes. This is just like gives you the most insane long lashes. Then I'm gonna use the LA Girl Volumatic Volumizing Lash Lifting Mascara. Now this is a tubing mascara. So if you don't like tubing mascaras, definitely avoid this one. I just have to show you what the brush looks like. It looks like a weapon of mass destruction. Be careful, don't poke yourself in the eye. Like, that's a crazy difference. Okay, now I'm gonna do the tattoos. So Harlequin has a heart and the word rotten on her face. Do I have to write this backwards? Like, do I have to write the word rotten backwards? I don't know, but I'm gonna do it with the Tarte Tartist Clay Paint Liner. I'm definitely like too intimidated to write the word rotten on my face right now. I'm grabbing the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Cherry Skies. So I'm using the shade Cherry Skies to line my lips. So for the red lipstick, I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the, the shade Uncensored. Let me put on the earrings. So I'm gonna put a wig on, but I just wanna show you guys the jewelry that I got. I've been wearing this jewelry like honestly all year because I got this in um, February when I went to Spencer's at the beginning of the year. So it's kind of tarnished, but it's the same kind of chokers and stuff that Harley had in the movie. I literally made the shift this out of a paper clip, a chain, and shrinky dinks with holographic fabric on it. So that's the ear cuff that I made. And it goes right here 
like that. <laughs> So let's try to put on these wigs. I cut the bangs a little bit, so it didn't arrive like this, but I did cut the bangs. This is a little too dirty blonde, but it will do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna like have like pieces right here that are gonna frame the face because we're gonna put our hair in pigtails and put them on as high as you possibly can on your head. I'm gonna tie it with a clear elastic. Okay. So I'm leaving it right here. Again, trying to put it as high up as possible on the head. Okay guys, so here comes a moment of truth where we cut the hair. I double scrunchied them, so make sure you use two scrunchies. Okay, kitchen scissor. <laughs> I know Harley's hair goes up to here. So I'm just gonna like, oh God. Oh my god so do the same thing to the other side i'm trying to cut like on a diagonal they're crooked i am not a hair stylist and it is so painfully obvious <laughs> now i have these two hairsprays the blue side is the one that does not have rotten on it so it goes like this now for the blue it's definitely Suicide Squad blue. It's not Birds of Prey aqua blue, so keep that in mind. Okay, popped off camera and put on the jacket. Look at this. This is the Spencer's jacket. It is so cool, so awesome. I mean, you can probably DIY this, but I got this from Spencer's in February. And then I made my own sledgehammer, and I wish I did, like, show you guys how I made this. This is literally from recycled materials that I found around my house. This is actually a protein powder jar that I painted to look wooden and I just you know painted your face here and a smiling face with X's and then this handle is actually a tub brush cleaner handle. I saw this selling on eBay for $295 so definitely find materials around your house you can definitely make this i hope you guys like this transformation tutorial i hope it was kind of easy to follow i'm a little bit out of practice with you know tutorials but you know i'm back in the saddle i'm trying to get better so definitely try to follow me on this journey i'm on snapchat tiktok instagram and twitter everything is bunny and fawn right here i have so many costumes planned this month so definitely subscribe and hit the bell icon down below hope you guys have a great night and i will see you in the next one bye guys i think the girls with their nails done now.